modular pillars with a flickering LED torch powered by an LED battery inside the pillar. That's this week on Tabletop Witchcraft. Hey there, and welcome back to Tabletop Witchcraft. This week, we're going to be working on this cool little pillar here that's powered by an LED and one battery inside the pillar. If you've been following my channel for a while, a few months ago, I did a video on how to make these simple LED torches. Uh, you can make a whole bunch real quickly. They look really good once they're lit up. And I had a use for some pillars with some torches in the upcoming campaign. And I didn't want to see the battery out the backside of the LED torch. So I found a really cool way to power this thing with a battery on the inside of the pillar and the use of magnets. So it's a really cool, interesting idea. I hope you enjoy the video. So let's grab some supplies and let's get crafting. Okay, so we want to make some pillars, but we want to make them as easy as possible. So start off by grabbing some one inch XPS foam or you could sandwich some half inch together and cut that at one inch by one inch by two and a half inches in length. And to make sure that all of my grout lines sort of match up, after I get that uh, layout on the first column, I transfer it over to the second. And then for all the subsequent columns, I just put um, them in between the two and use uh, the lines on either side to match those up. Now here you just want to offset the grout lines um, on the pillar. And if you can line this up properly, you can actually get um, a little bit later on. Watch this whole video through first before you decide to follow it and, and make the columns. You can actually put one of those grout lines where we're going to put the entrance for the torch. I didn't do that, but that would be a, a cool little uh, thing to do. Now at an inch and a quarter down, which is exactly half of the column. We're going to cut it in half. And then I just use the battery that's going to power the LED torch to and, and you know depress that into the foam to mark out the cutout for the battery. And just hatch that out with the X-Acto and then the clay sculpting tool. I use that to scoop all the foam out. And I'll have a link in the description um, for all the tools and uh, supplies I used in the video to Amazon if you want to pick any of those items up. Now using the X-Acto right in the dead center, this is where I was talking about earlier, you could actually make a grout line there and it will hide that um, even more. So uh, just keep that in mind. It's a hole that we cut out for the um, magnet. Now with a little bit of hot glue, place that in there, drop the magnet in, and you wanna have that hole for the magnet just a little bit bigger than the magnet. If you have a huge pool of um, hot glue, I found that to be a really kind of a big problem because it melts the foam, it creates little air voids and becomes an issue. And then we'll just do the same for the top portion right here of the pillar as well. And as you can see, I'm just smearing some of that hot glue over the battery, connecting it to the foam to help lock it and secure it in place. Now we're going to cut some slabs for the bottom and the top of the pillar. The first one here, obviously, is going to be inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter by a quarter inch. And I'm just using scrap here. You know, you don't have to always dig into a fresh piece of foam. I've got a huge bag of scrap that uh, I dwindle down and... Uh, Eventually it makes it to the trash can, but you know, save what you can and reuse it. So that first piece was for the top of the pillar, and this is the second piece for the top of the pillar. It's a one inch by one inch, and you don't have to get crazy with the point too, but just know that it's a little bit smaller in height than the other one. And that inch and a half by inch and a half by quarter is this piece right here. And that's for the base of the pillar. And we're just cutting out some angle uh, section here to add some detail to it. And 
Now we glue the base uh, on the bottom, this one inch, uh, the one and a quarter by one and a quarter to the top, and here's the small little one inch piece. And as you can see, you know, it's not as uh, thick as the one below it. Now this cutout is on the very bottom of the pillar. It's the same as we did for the battery, only this is gonna be for three quarter inch washers to add some weight to the pillar, just to keep it uh, standing upright. You don't need these, but it can get a little tippy without the weight in the bottom. Then I Mod Podge the entire thing, a mixture of Mod Podge and black paint. And I like to do inside the battery compartment, you know, because that's going to take a little bit of abuse over time, and the bottom as well. And when I was all done, I, I really kind of wanted a little bit more detail in the brick itself. So I decided to age these a little bit, chip out some of the brick. And then I just took a Q-tip with some Mod Podge on it and touched those up. Now I'll put a link above to my LED torch video, which you should watch after this um, to give you a really good understanding of how these torches are made. But once you have the basis of the torch um, constructed uh, with the uh, shrink tubing, the two separate pieces of shrink tubing on it. You're going to make this bend here, which is the uh, important critical part uh, to make these fit into the pillars. And this isn't really hard to do, just, you know, follow along, take your time. You're going to need two pairs of needle nose pliers to do this. And it's basically so that we can slide in the battery in between those two leads there and have it fit nice inside that compartment that we made. Just like that, super simple, super easy. And I make a plate to go over that torch up against the wall. Again, that would be covered in the LED torch video. And the nice thing about these batteries is I did a, a test on them and I had over 100 hours of um, runtime uh, before they really start to dim on me. Now for the paint job. I cover pretty much 100% of this piece with that graphite gray. And then as you can see in the background, I just do three separate dry brushes, uh, a little less with each one. This is the um, pewter gray by Apple Barrel. I do probably close to an 80% coverage over the whole pillar with that. The folk art linen, which is this one, maybe a 20% to 30%, uh, really trying to catch the edges there. And then with that last lightest color, I just do the edges um, on the pillar. And don't worry about how bright that might look because as you can see here, once we hit it up with the wash, it will really knock down that color and darken it up quite a bit. And I love this little brush right here for my final dry brush with this uh, linen color by Folk Art. You can really get some nice um, edge, I guess, highlighting on it. Um, it's very fluffy and feathery, so it works really well for a, uh, for a dry brush. And this is a mixture of black and dark brown pigment by Vallejo to add some color to these uh, pillars. And you just dust this on there, pretty much wherever you want. And when I was done with this entire build, I sprayed it uh, with some Krylon matte finish, and that locks in the pigment. Sort of activates it and locks it in at the same time. And you want to get some on the top of that pillar too, you know, where dust might be building up over time, some on the base, and, and you know, wherever you want on the pillar itself.
So this build is pretty easy. It's a lot of fun. You can pump a bunch of these out pretty quick and they look really cool once they're set up on the game table. Now, if you've been following my channel for the past few weeks, you would have noticed the Imperial Box video that I did actually just last week. And that was a really fun build. It's a build where you would see an emperor give a thumbs up or thumbs down at the end of gladiatorial fights. You'd see it at um, maybe like a pit fight where somebody would stand overlook the fighting, as well as maybe where a king or an emperor would be during jousting games up in the hill somewhere. So that was a lot of fun. And for those of you that stuck around to the end of this video, I'm letting you all know first that I'm working on a build right now that is going to rival, if not surpass, my castle build video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out and you'll know just how epic this is gonna be. I'm working on it right now and it's really coming out awesome. So, hype has been started. Now, if you liked this video, please remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Head on over to Patreon. We got some really cool tiers over there where you can join the Tabletop Witchcrafts Coven on Facebook. It's our private page. We've been having a lot of really good discussions over there, and I'm enjoying sharing our builds together on there as well. Also, in the description, check out the merchandise, t-shirts, mugs, towels, all that great stuff. Help support the channel. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you around.